as well. It's Richarlison. Oh, the ball takes a ricochet. And Leno tries to make the save. Talking like we used to do. It was always me and you. Shaping up and shipping out. Looking at this again, VAR. Check me in and check me out. Do you like walking in the rain? When you think of love, do you think of me? And Burnley has got a wonderful opportunity to tell me what you see. I will choose what I believe. To go now, wasn't it? Went behind early, shot in that one. Hold on, darling. This body is yours. This body is yours and mine. I think the stadium. We had to move into the stadium. We had to, uh, I think, money wasn't available. In two years, we nearly lost the Invincible team. On the other side, you're looking at United keeping the core, adding players, Chelsea getting stronger. We're losing players, key players. And, and that, I think for me, that was, that was the thing. No money, the money went into the stadium. We're missing, we were losing players every single year after that, and it became very difficult for us. I got sympathy for Arsenal, and I think Arsenal makes an incredible job with that net spend. Where I've got less sympathy is the type of players that have been signed in that period. And if we just look at this, the signings here, and for me, if you look at those two teams we've just discussed, and Thierry's used the word balance, and we've talked about the likes of Vieira, Petit, Gil, uh, Gilberto, Edu, Keown, Campbell, Torre, Adams, Bold, all strong people, all of a sudden the most significant signings between 2004 and 9, I can't think of a word to describe that bunch. I could, but it might not be usable on television. But they're certainly not what I would call the type of characters that you would want to win your league. The powerful characters, the strength that you need running through your team, whether it be a Blackburn team, a City team with Yaya Torre and Vincent Company, and the profile of players completely changed and the style has changed. And that to me is where I've got no sympathy, to be honest with you. I, I don't know where it's come from. Into your heart.